of action. Thank you so very much, Rushley. You've got some buttons to press. Our and Cowboy Chad is in the building. Yes, an Australian cowboy. We've got all the rare things here in the studio tonight. And so, let's have a little looky loo what Spring brought into our pistol. We do not see the full Kev. We are seeing a very restrained Kerrigan, making sure there's a kit and plenty of util. Oh, info for BMAS. Jumping through the apartments, common strat deployed in the pistols to stop any early setups. Oh, just frozen. No one slipped past. This could be deadly. Uh, this is really not comfortable. Bunny hopping around the corner for the repeat. He does come in for info. Nade's not going to find anything, and they're not committing to this. I wonder, oof, Kerrigan may just have done enough to really deter any sort of progress up Banana, but I do see a smoke being deployed, the classic Fnatic smoke, if you will, or a deviation of it. Let's them get that progress up Banana. It's a bit of a fake. Just trying to sell it as they look for brackets control, and they do get that for free. Come on, Flusher. He gave that oh, rejiggle. Dear. That's a lot of free space that Fnatic have just crept up and taken without giving away too many sound cues. And now they can corral themselves back down towards middle. And then up Banana to reconvene with the in-game leader, Golden, who has been listening very, very carefully towards the top of B to hear any rotations. Chris J's spot, dude. He is exclusively there so that he can rotate as soon as they start making any sort of sound. They have four flashes between Chris and Carrigan to set up this B bomb site for repeak. So Frozen, he's going to have a field day. Carrigan can flash for Frozen's repeaks. You're absolutely bang on. Uno and a clean headshot from Frozen. His first contribution of Inferno. The flash is keeping him locked in the pool. Carrigan gets a warning shot, but look at Frozen. He's fired two bullets. He's found two heads. Flusher and Crim scratching theirs. What am I supposed to do? That is a great start. Could have been a second. Carrigan limping his way to contest the bomb. He'll eventually go down, but it does keep him distracted. He contributes again. And now Crim's thrust into a necessary one versus two. Kit was on Carrigan's corpse. Need to hunt him down. They recover the kit. Smoke as well and does find the first. Hunting now. Holding now. It will. Oh! It's just a second shy of the. Crims letting out his frustration after that one because it was a matter of half a second separating which team would have the one in their column. Getting close, getting close, getting close just to kick things off. Now, These shots. Mm, when back you, of the head. When you know you have the flashes coming through and the likelihood is they're blind or coming out of flashes, you can stay poised in moments like that. And Mousesports, they were just bombarding the site. The Skybox with the uh, flash bang arenas. I think that's the technical term. I think that's what they call it in the business. But it will be the force by on the Fnatic side of things because they did get that plant. So you can see here that they're able to string together something relatively competitive. Eagles are deadly, the utility's good, and AK and a Galil. Golden get it in their face with that Tech-9. So Fnatic, they just comb the map, right? They have very clear indication of what they need to get hold of before they can start playing those Fnatic Inferno games. And that is top banana control and then brackets control. That's when they can slip into the back lines and apply a lot of pressure up quad side when you're not looking or give you a mid to B. Really make you squirm, and Mousewats are actually leaning three players over towards the B site yet again. So the individual of Carrigan in Speedway is now making his crawl back on over. Usher and Golden could be selling a bit of a fake here on the B bomb site, and that has pulled Carrigan back once more. So here, Fnatic should get the top mid control, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on B Mass and Rops over towards this A site. It just comes down to timing. Yeah, rotate is coming in from Carrigan. 45 seconds as well, Rops. Should he have an opportunity to drop that smoke, he will you save it pro likely to play around in this pit position. And already Brolin's lost his life. Carrigan on the way back in. Smoked off. Need to find Beamer. They're trying to isolate him. He does get caught a bit wildly with his bullets. Crim so low though. This position from Carrigan should Clear just it. win the round of the first, not the second. JW lives to fight another day. Bomb recovered. Needs a headshot. Frozen coming up from middle as well. Time. Doesn't have to hold it here, and he's here. Sound cues for one. Isolates up to Chris, oh. and Frozen's quick enough. Oh, my goodness. It wasn't too much time separating that Deagle from releasing a bullet. Another one-on-one -on -one situation there to close things on out. Last time, Fnatic had Krim staying alive after they converted, but this time, it's Mouse Sports who keep one in that column. JW with that shot onto Carrigan there, almost opened the door, but by not getting the bomb down straight away by... Clearing on out the site, the pressure of the time was on him and the clamp came in from Mouseworts, used to being the ones trapped this time around to doing the trapping of JW on the site. And 
I like this. This is what we talk about, Alex, with the pressure on the economy. Fnatic have forced bought back in again. We've gone Deagles, we've oh, gone an AK gosh. once more. And if they can just break Maz, all they have to do is win one round and that CT side economy, it's in the bin, it's trashed. Yeah, but this is this is what Fnatic have been known for, right? And if it works, suddenly they regain control. They're back on the horse. That's the start. That's the start they needed. Chris J's head completely deleted drops to turn level oh. the odds. That's going to be a real nasty sucker punch. It's so cheeky. They were just let it, giving each other little jabs in the side. Yeah. Roaming around every CT, trying to find a gap in the often rather chaotic T side spread that is Fnatic's. So he's got a different flash. Nice little pop flash on the corner here. Very hard to turn. Oh, Golden's creeping on in. So this is going to be an instant. Frozen's gonna be burnt out, drops his smoke. Interesting, Golden's burnt down a little bit as well. Running out of bullets to threaten. Frozen continues, but only the first. Brolin, with that AK, he recovered it from Crimson's corpse, but he's been dunked on. And now it's getting really awkward clean again from Frozen. Looks like Fnatic, despite the strong start, have to rely on Flusher. He does do well to find the first, but the headshot angle adopted. And that was Rops's round. That's similar to that of Dust2. I remind you, he got the first, that dropped the AK out of Crimson's hands. He gets the second that takes the AK out of Roland's hands. That's all Rob's. And getting dunked on before he could, could contribute any more, that's very important. They've weathered the storm of the four spies now. Fnatic will have to start respecting it. We'll have to take a save round and there it is. So it'll be pistols without all the splattering of utility and armor that we saw in the previous. No AK, no Galil, none of those goodies. But still a dangerous spy to deal with as they take their time, they wait out the CT side of utilities. What we can see going on right here, right now. They can level up the playing field and take some angels. Now, if Crims gets flashed out with this Tech 9, he might be able to wreck face here. He's been spotted. Three players quad side for Mal's ready to deal with this. I love it. Always flashing for each other. Mouse are looking good today. They are, aren't they? They've even got two players for that fight should they need it. Rollin will be eventually hunted down. They can call it clear. Frozen's going to be hitting the panic button. They're going to disrespect the smoke. He can hold down Mouse one. Spectacular. No issues there. There is two more on the rotate. They've been delayed long enough by Frozen to make this site no longer a walk in the park. Fire. Not quite going to get him the job done. So, neat, tidy. Mousesport's converting the fourth. But yeah, seeing a lot of um, good signs. The flashing for each other is one that's often a, a fantastic indicator of the quality of the cons. Yes, precisely. And that's one thing that it, you can normally tie together very directly. Because if you're asking for a flash and the communication's coming in, yeah, flashing for you, uh, things are feeling smooth because the decisions you're making, they're being recognized immediately. And your teammates are on that same wavelength. One of the things we talk about with a game like Counter-Strike and having five players on the same team, having to approach this a shifting puzzle is being on that same frequency. And if you can find yourself in sync with your teammates and they're animals like you, well, you can be running over Fnatic at a potential 2-0 here today. So Mal Sports with a 4-0 lead. Oof. Exchange of utility towards Banana Golden. He's going to be the linchpin of this. Grab a kill or two here. Be a good start for Fnatic. Uh, uh -huh. Friendly Flames. Friendly Flames, just making sure Golden's nice and warm. Always cheating a player over towards bees, as mouse supports seem like. There's a third member, Carrigan, again. He was just peeking his nose in, being a bit of a sticky beak. Yeah, I mean, in his dream world, he fires off an orb shot and then goes to A. But no contact there for a while. They are starting to throw their util A. I wonder if we're going to see a bit more pace out of Fnatic. It's been very smoke and mirrors, very calculated. They do all of this to get brackets, and then they just pivot off a of frag. So... Same control. They've had no issues getting this much of the map. It's the next step that they've previously been struggling with. And another smoke pulled out of the CTs. He's going through it. And Frozen is just waiting. What a smart play. Anticipates the only potential for Brolin. And JW blows the bottom off a chicken. Bullseye. I think that CT side of top mid smoke has just missed right now, so... There is a gap here for Fnatic, but they need to hit some shots. And one on Golden towards BMAS could be a big end, but BMAS has the advantage here. Perfectly timed incendiary. Golden can no longer contribute. He's low. He can't run through that. He's down to nine. They're in the side. 15 seconds. The site's clear. The bomb will, will surely be planted. Crims can't quite believe his luck. 
And so they will plant, but they're losing everyone. Frozen and Rock from Pit have neutralized the entire supporting cast. JW arrives, he's still not out of it yet. He wants to punch it out, missing shot, needs another. Frozen, Ooh. adding himself a fourth to the tally. What a, I, I almost want to see that one from the bird's eye POV. You know, can, maybe we can add that to your skybox repertoire because- Sure, I should be able to bring that one. As Crims walks into the site, he, they had a perfect like 20 seconds left and Golden was Molotov'd out of balcony. He couldn't do anything. Playing from Mini Pit and Pit respectively, it was just a real nuisance. I should be able to bring it up now for everybody. So if you're just having a look, the Molotov is about to land on Golden's feet up and towards the tail end of halls. We might have to fast forward a little bit. So yeah, you can see yeah. Crims, he just runs straight in. He forgets about Pit going into the site. You can see JW as well. So yeah, they're just in the pit, happy to hold on to their territory and there's no need to worry about it. The clock's the problem here for Fnatic and even with site control, they can't do anything. So let's get this one back underway. Lovely jubbly, yeah, and Frozen from library side was also a bit of a thorn in their side. Of course, four francs for him in the round. He's at 11 already. And Rops, oh my goodness, forces Brolin to pivot into the underpass. I like the aggression. I love how they're looking for picks everywhere. Carrigan's even found an AWP kill in middle. Oh man. Chris brought out an AWP as well. So double AWP set up now on the mouse spot CT side of things. And, oh, these rounds seem like they're running away from Fnatic very quickly. They need to find some stake in them. Need to get back to those 1v1s like we had in the early stages when the pistols and the guns were a little bit more even. It's just so ready for all of these little moves. Everyone just basically says play anti-flash, peek on the flash together. That means that Fnatic going into their next gun round, which with the max loss bonus being in play, they get a plant right here, could be coming in in the following. They need to deal with Chris though. Mm, you could flash for Frozen's contact. That's exactly what he'll do. Using the smoke to it. He's peeking in the flame. What's his plan? Thought it might have been extinguished. Tucks into the second oranges, but he's lost his partner in crime. Crims knows he's got a lot to deal with. Chris J will make sure things don't get a little out of hand. Double kill for both of the double orbs. And that peak keeps frozen. That can't be his ADR. Well, can it? You know, when we checked before, actually, I mean, to be fair, it probably is actually with only six rounds played, 200 for frozen. 189 is what I'm working with right here. So it might be a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay, just a little touch too far. First timeout calls by uh, Fnatic. They'll be looking to kind of reassess. I don't really know what the conversation would be other than they're getting away with a lot of early CT aggression. Let's punish that. Yeah, and that would come down to, like you mentioned, a potential pace change. Yeah. Or well, they could do something more contact heavy where instead of them flashing to initiate, they pounce off of a move that Mal Sports would make, like as that they're dropping a smoke or uh, as the smoke is fading, this trying to take like any... pistols B, right? Uh, yeah, you, quick. you could be looking at a fast B here with the pistols because they have been getting banana control, but I actually would like to see them go for a second mid play. I'd like to see them just go set up some smokes and flashes, get yourself some smokes towards the pit and isolate some jewels. We saw before they were able to get into the site. Well, get pit control. Take the fight against the youngsters. Get the pistols up in their face. See if you can turn over a couple of those rifles. It is double ops, and when you know double ops are in play, an A execute can be very, very deadly. Certainly can. Leaving the bomb though, not necessarily something as quick as we had imagined. But they will have to wait out some of this initial utility. Frozen with his own unique lineup for the half wall smoke. It might even be the pop flash if Chris gets contact, yeah. This looks very much like they're heading towards B. Late utility used by Mouse. Oh, Flush has got to get out of there. Down to half. Oh, wild spray. That's an M4. This is problematic. Chris J has to get out of there. They're going to hold down W here, and he knows it. Finding the pillar just. He's not going to have a chance. They overrun the site. This is the best chance we've seen from Fnatic in a while. Recovered an AWP as well. Thrown into the hands of JW. And it looks like the boys from Mouse Sports are going to have to just accept their fate after this one. Bundling, bounding into B. And in stark contrast, Frozen just getting caught out. Rare to see. He's been their uh, top performer. But the pace from Fnatic just out of the gate of that uh, CT utility. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, taking advantage of the CT grenades. Yeah, so as done. soon as that Molotov landed, they obviously Flush has two choices. He's going to run away or they can get ready to fight. So the idea that the other members on the team are like, oh, let's go. The call has to come in. Someone has to be decisive. Someone had to put that molly out. Someone had to push the flashes through so that they could initiate. If you don't have communication, you don't have someone making that call, what happens is they're like, oh, we're molly. Oh, we drop back. Oh, you've lost the territory. Oh, your whole plan, it's gone. But yeah. Flush has stepped up in a big way, making that kill open the door. They're able to hold down W charge into the B bomb site, overwhelm the AWP player. They didn't even run with the strategy I'm sure that they had out of spawn. That wasn't what the idea would have been. You can see the smoke's only landing as they're entering the site. So it changed on the fly and that's something that Fnatic do so well. 
And with Mount Sports losing one round, it's not the end of the world. They've been sitting pretty, and Chris won't be opting to get back into the double orb setup. But JW, he's got one now on the T side of things. So both sides rocking a singular orb in motion. AVP, mid. Would not recommend that fight from Carrigan. That's all I'm going to say. Golden is going to tuck into... Oh, he's eating flashes for breakfast. <laughs> a full reload in the face of danger. Nothing too concerning just yet. A 3-2 split of our CT is going to be seeing Frozen boosted on up and backing up as far as he possibly can so as to not stick out over that smoke. So Fnatic haven't gotten the second part of map control that they normally need before making their maneuvers, and that will be the top mid. So as we see, out of the hands from Crims will fly an arch side smoke. Some Molotovs took around the top mid control, one towards quad, one for the porch position to contain and flush out any C2s who might want to hang around for info. They're quickly going to give that back up. Now, Mousebots don't have top banana or top mid control, so they're playing from the dark right here. If Fnatic execute now, they can find themselves a two on four duel towards B. That does sound promising. Who's going to be walking up on that wall? First flash, Carrigan will catch it. Oh no, perfectly safe from it. Cleanly into the first. A second would have been there now. A second, and make it two of them coming out of Frozen. Wow, it's rare to see that boost position pay off in a multi-kill. This could be huge for JW here, up and over. They know this position is in play, and he's dropped on off. It had a timer, and well, time's up. And boost across, it's still very doable. Oh, they know where he is. Could have been a collapse. Smoke. He's deployed, but he's lost his prong. He's lost his teammate. Oh, you cheeky man. And he's up on the fountain. I like it, J-Dubs. I like it a lot. Avoids the first blast, gets the first, but quickly found. Chris J looking towards the smoke, does manage to catch the necessary trade. Defuse comes in. Mouse spots with a successful retake. It's one of the better chances we've seen from Fnatic. They've got plenty more cash to splash. But off the back of their round victory, it's straight... Mouse sports all over the shop. First seven in a row, now securing their eighth. Or six in a row, excuse me. You were right with the frozen frags. That right there was the, the key to them being able to lock that down and have a favorable retake scenario. And JW has to go for a play like that. You think, what's he doing? That, that seems a bit silly, but they would just isolate him. They would pin him down to that corner and whittle down the jewels. But in that situation, he's tried to go for a miracle play. If he pulls it off, he looks like an absolute genius. Yeah. I uh, don't mind the effort. So Fnatic, they need to start mounting some rounds now. Seven to one is the scoreline. One more and Mouse Sports have won the ha a half here on map number two. This is like, this is Fnatic's map pick. This is Fnatic's home turf. Yeah, this is the playground of which Fnatic name of old has done some of its absolute best work. And even this unit of Fnatic with the core, Crims, JW and Flusher play fantastic mid-round CS, but Mouse Sports are doing a good job being disruptive and a heads up orb duel right there from JW with potentially a whiffed flash. I would say that isn't where he wanted it to go. And if he did, that's not the angle he should have been looking to fight. So Carrigan gets a bit of a freebie right there and I get a little bit more as he dunks this nade towards mid. It's a nice timing, but nobody's home. They playing safe and shy. This time they have top mid control, but no banana control. Mouse sports have given it up, but that isn't known just yet to Flusher. is going to be a painful A hit. Drops his balcony position. Does seem like one that could really do damage, but they're going long side. And that's Carrigan's responsibility. Multiple targets. He needs a second. Doesn't find it. Brolin does well, but he's revealed the bomb. They know the bomb's long. Potential for the wrap, so they stay in sight. But, oh wow, Bemis has done such a good job to find a two frags. He may even find a third here. Pressure on Flusher, and he does completely defend the A site on his own. Lithuania has got a talent in BMAS. Yeah. So have Mouse Sports. Yeah, that was just obliteration right there from Fnatic. Carrigan being able to stabilize with that AWP kill to kick off the round, and another to the arch side of things was good. And then the flashes, they followed on through and really slowed down this attack. So the timings right now are just not going Fnatic's way, and Mouse Sports are running away with this one. It looks like a force buy from JW here. Everybody else holding on to their pennies. Flush is actually bought in last second as well. Okay, this is not good signs for Fnatic here. They need somebody to step on up with a big boy play. And someone to take some ownership like we saw Flusher do on that pistol round earlier. Because at the moment, 
the way that things are looking is pretty bleak with these janky buys. Hmm. Couple of whiff nades. Yeah, I like the mouse spots HE lineup. I've seen a couple of them do it, so I don't know what they're like. Oh, they put themselves in the fountain. Okay, interesting. So, is it the wall? Thank you, Chris J. Wall and then the corner. Still doesn't want to drop it. He's got to contribute somewhere else. No way. No way. Frozen just through the smoke. Everything seems to be going. Mouse sports way at this point in time. Intuition, teamwork. What's the motto? Ready, willing, and able? Yeah. I think they've got all three of those going in their way today. Now, this should just be easily dealt with here. There's not a lot of utility to work with. It comes on in. It's a last-ditch attempt. Chris peppering away. They're held at bay. The rotation's coming through. And oh, BMAS through the smoke. The plant would be good. It would be magnificent. Looks like they might... Have to concede that one, but Brolin, four players peeking him, that's a death sentence. And that's another defusal and nine rounds for Mouseports. How many of them have been defused? It's the pistol, one, two, three, down four. Four of our eight or now nine for Mouseports through a successful plant from Fnatic. This was Frozen just keeps re-peeking, using the smoke as well, keeps his crosshair where it needs to be, an adjustment with the tracer fire. Yeah, that's really big stuff. He knows he's contributing. He's got his energy back. They're loving it. They're yeah, feeling it. This is the sassy I'm, mouse sports. I'm like, I mean, like, th there's been such turmoil in the camp in terms of, you know, anything from rosters to the, the coaching changes and announcements. It's it's all what many would have considered to be detrimental, but it does seem like it's provided a new li little new lease of life, a rejuvenated squad, certainly in terms of the player cams and the assumptions we're making. They look like they're having fun compared to the Fnatic yeah, side of things. I don't think I can disagree with that. I don't think many could. Oosh. All right, this is a change. JW trying to be a bit of a crowbar here. He has a massive gap. If he goes through he this... does it again. He slipped into the back line, but he needs to make some impact from this. Oh, it's perfect from Rops. Over the top, has info, and here he is. The rascal himself, JW, is going to make a nuisance in CT spawn, but Carrigan quickly dealing with it. So it's a three on three. B is not open for business. Chris is over there. Chris is going to hear this. Lots of action. Off angle. Oh! Three targets. They do well to draw his crosser. Carrigan on the rotate. It's an AWP. He smoked off. They will plant. And the B site's been a bit of a bit of a nemesis for the boys here in Fnatic. So many times they've had that bomb down. So many times it's been taken back by the boys in blue. Look at these nades, Alex. If they take their time, they can process of elimination this with the utility alone. So that's the banana smoke. Carrigan's got one as well for the plant. Flashes over the top. One on that first orange box, and Rodden playing by coffins. They can peek together procedurally. First contact found. That's Flusher. Well played by the Swedes. They needed that. Trying to keep it competitive, and Rob's just hanging out. I liked the position he was in there. That was very powerful to get the info, as you highlighted. And had Carrigan not found this, could have been an even quicker round for Fnatic. JW once again making space. I mean, he was doing it on Dust too. In a similar moment in the game, it looks like I have to take some initiative. Yeah, I'm going to have to take control. take control. He was charging up on A site. We saw him doing mad things on the T side. And now he's on the orb, so I don't think he'll be at the spearhead of the assault this time. I'm just surprised that movement towards the top of Banana really caught Chris J off guard. If Fnatic had just run up there with standard spacing, he probably gets two. But the fact that they're jumping around, making Sound it look bags. a little... Okay, up on all the action is... Whoa, Carrigan is everywhere. Yeah. He's everywhere. <laughs> I like the fact that Carrigan went for the JW peak on JW. <laughs> oh, all right. Round 12. We're already underway. Two kills have happened. We have a minute 20 left on the clock. This one's going to slow down now, Chad. I've got a, I've got a, a tingle in the dingle. This is going to be down to the last 20 seconds. And, well, even trades. Bomb scooped up. They're making great progress towards A already. BMAS could be tested early here. And with a flash in the progress, look at Brolin. He's already in pit. I need to eat my words. They're going straight for the hit. BMAS going to be caught out. Smoke is good. Chris J can't find a gap. He does find Brolin in the edge of the smoke, though. And now progressing into Crim's dealt with. A one versus two for a full health frozen. Bomb has been planted. Oh, his element of surprise is on his side here. Certainly. Flush on that graveyard angle, though. As the smoke clears, frozen will. 
be spotted out. Powerful position from Flush Up. An integral round to pick up and convert as well. Three. Should it be six? We're, we're cooking with gas. We've got a game. And there's a real chance for six with the money situation on Mouse Sports right now. I uh, can't believe how quickly they took space off of that. I suppose they, the fact that they took Carrigan down within the early stages over towards Halls, they knew there's potentially a gap. And they flooded on in, they took advantage, and now they're sitting pretty to at least convert a few more as it will just be the pistols for mouse spots here. And I say just the pistols. At one point, these guys were just using them up close and personal like shotguns to the belly. Two yes. bullets and that's all they'd need. Not even worried about the headshots, but maybe Carrigan is. This duel, it feels like Carrigan and JW have been fighting each other a lot. Like an awful lot. It does. Both willing to hold W for the good of the team. Where's the birds? Sing? Yeah, I mean, they have a conversation. They're tweeting. You got any favorite type of birds? Personally, um, I've always been quite a fan of the flamingo, the flamboyant. Flamingo, okay. Um, Avant-garde bird. Okay. I like the way they stand in all those pretty reflective salt lakes and stuff. Very aesthetically pleasing. There was a type of bird I was telling you about the other day, and I, I think I was either a 68 or a 98, I forget. They're not numbers, Chad. What, what me? Animals. No, but it was a parrot. Oh, yes. Now, parrots aside, we'll see if there's anything worth commentating into this one. It shouldn't really be that problematic, and with the double frag, it really is going to be the fourth. You said it's, a, it's wet in a good position for six. Well, they're already taking another step in that direction with these... Unarmored Deagles to contest, and he does actually hit the headshot through the coffins. That's rare to see so precisely. Golden's low as well. There's a universe where packing up Flusher. He's done well to finally shut down that fragger. Frozen, he's a wild one. But you were talking about parrots, Chad. Yeah, I couldn't find them. I think oh. what my grandma used to call them is probably not right, but she had budgery gas. We used to have, a, used to have budgies. Yeah. And... Uh, my mother had lovebirds for, for a period of time there. You have two little lovebirds together in the cage. They have to be, uh, do they come in pairs? I lovebirds? think so. I, 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 I don't actually know the story of them, but I'd say with the name, yeah. probably the case. Is it avian? I don't know. Avian? They're like the fancy word for the bird family. You yeah. Know, like if, you're, if you were working in falconry, you'd say like... like, like yeah, avian relating to birds. Avian. Yeah. I'm not making that up. Oh, right. Our brain still in there. We shook them around a little bit today, our brains, so they should be online. Yeah, exactly. We've recalibrated. And so have mouse, to be fair. In fact, they're nine rounds to the good on Fnatic's map pick. It has, however, been softened by the string of three. You can see there the recap in the center of your screen. And standout for Fnatic is Flusher and Crims, the old guard keeping it going today. Five AKs up against the four M4s. Kerrigan back on his warp. It's exciting to see the zoom banger in his hands. He certainly hasn't been slacking on it. It's such a different look. It is. The whole team looks different. It feels different. It plays different. They don't feel like they're just reliant on a star opera in certain situations. Kerrigan's getting gritty with it. Your rifle is around you. You have three absolute monsters. Frozen, Beamass, the newest youngster, Rops, the superstar. Good combo. A potent mix. Carrigan gone, though. That is a problem. Beamass and Rops, they've done it once, but they have to do it again. Rotate's coming in thick and fast, and Flush is just having none of it today. JW with the wrap. Beamass does well to even find one, but this round, unless Chris J can do something absurd. Surely over. Brolin does connect with the tracer fire through the smoke. Frozen's on the retreat. And Fnatic are set for success. Yeah, and it looks like they're probably going to run away with that amount of rounds we were talking about because going into the following mouse spots, only at 2,900. You guys do the maths on that. The residual you can see right now on the left-hand side of your screen for the mouse spots players, 100 on Carrigan, 250 for Frozen, zero for Christopher J, B mouse with 350. Rops will have 1,000 plus 2,900. Warp save would be a large boost to what they present to the next round. And to start... Willie has in the pool. Hello. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> on. Anyone else? Krimis goes down as well. The save is complete. He'll be keeping that one and delivering it over to uh, whomever it desires. It does also push him over the threshold to have a full M4. Keep him coming. Yeah. Keeps his Kevlar. It's actually worked out quite nicely for the CT side. It's not going to be perfect, but it's significantly more intimidating than it would have been. And quite, quite the contrary for Fnatic. They've got everything they could possibly desire. 
to see seven flashbangs in the mix. Everybody with a smoke and a Molotov. All right, well, how do they want to apply this here, Mouse Sports? The AWP of Carrigan soloing B at the start of the round. He will just be tucked in over towards the site. Oh, they're boosting quad side. Heavy lean to maintain mid vision. It will be important. Something that Fnatic have been using. And if they can stop them in their tracks, these mollies are a problem, though. Chris J burning down to a crisp. Oh, he's in danger now. Really, truly. Oh, it just almost got away. Fingernails trimmed by Crims. Crims. They're walking into B without the bomb. Oh, just on the edge of the wow. smoke, JW dunks. Look how much space he wants to take off. He's naughty. Oh, he's playing his favorite video game and playing it his way. Bemus catching Crims. That's a progress. Bomb's now into B. And it will be a 3v3. This is all over the shop right here. Yeah, but I don't know how comfortable I'd be trying to walk back into this site when you've got JW and Flusher on orbs looking towards CT. Your options are going to be so limited. Ooh, okay, missing the first shot means they can get frops towards construction side. Smoke thrown out by Beamers to nullify anyone on Banana. They are playing on the site though, so relatively redundant. A second miss. Has the rifle if he needs it, and that might be his chance to peek in and take down one of them, down to 20 HP. They're running out of chances now. Rops needs to be on that bomb now. Flush is done enough. And it does seem like that 9-6 has become a reality. Just golden to confirm it. Six to Fnatic, nine to the Mouse Sports, and we take a break as we find out whether or not we'll be seeing a third map.
9-6. Now Sport, not too far away now. Seven rounds separating them from the 2-0 in the opening game of today. We've got an international menu for you tonight. It is going to be none other than Fnatic up against the international squad. Now Sport, and it goes the same way all day. Don't forget you'll be seeing more from FaZe Clan. And what else have we got coming up on today's menu? Uh, complexity, Nick. Complexity, yeah. The uh, old Juggernaut. With the star and... Blame and oh my above. god, look at this armored duelies. Okay, well, we oh, saw we're talking. this come into fashion a little bit more, especially towards the top of banana. Will Brolin get flashed in to use and wield these bad boys? That is the question. Flasher says yes. Dirty bullets, Chadney. That's like you're saying we've got a skin for them. The OGs, duelies. I just want to see Brolin. Here comes the flash. Yes, here it comes, looking for Maltese, and he does manage to find a clean headshot into Bemis off the back of the flash. And the raid boss is beheaded. They get him down, one out of 12. Report that on the logs. Two smokes towards A. That's enough to make me feel like it's a commitment. Yeah, the same feels like Frozen's adapting the same way. Carrigan tucking into the site, and he's done well with Carrigan's help to get full access to the A site. Flusher and Golden miles away. That was a very effective way to take A. Yeah, and simple stuff there. I think that they realized there were three players over towards that B site with the flashes. Brolin with the Julies and Golden towards the top of Banana and able to react and pivot on that quickly. A mouse wards, Carrigan leading the way. And Flusher and Golden, it feels like they're locked on out of this one. Yeah. No fun to be had in this one. To be fair, Flusher with a USP and no armor really isn't saving much. So may as well try and take something away a Kevlar vest or a P250 away from Rops and Co. No, no. Rops will not allow that. Not at all. Not today. Golden will hold on to his armor, though. isn't taking a lick of damage, so that means he can upgrade into head armor in the following. Just remembered the word I wanted to use more. Which one? Scurry. Scurry? Yeah. Okay. I heard a friend of mine use it yesterday. Phase Astralis. That's the hot match of the day, I believe. Yeah, that's coming in thick and fast at 9 o'clock Central European Summertime. When does Daylight Savings kick in? Uh, or, summer ends or, technically at the end of September. I okay. Think. All right. I'm really bad at that. In a, where I'm from, we don't have it. Yeah, well, your summer is like at the peak of Christmas, so yeah. that's kind of upside down. Earth doesn't do Daylight Savings. They don't want to... Uh, they're trying to make the world stop doing it, aren't they? Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's all, we're, all, we're all just going to give up on that nonsense okay. at some point. Someone's going to be forever an hour shorter on sleep, but it's just the way the world works. Here we are. JW, gonna drop that spoke after an initial exchange. Well, they've already got top mid control here to mouse spots, and they just need to posture up and find some fights as they scurry. This is cool. This, I mean, for Brolin, what can you do? It's an MP9. And Crimson's only got a 5-7, but both of them filling the feed so far, keeping it awkward, keeping it... A little stressful, and another smoke pulled out. This is great work. They can isolate now Brolin on the site. He's having no issues, though. Using that SMG to great success, these rifles are going to have to turn it around. But Brolin oh continues my God. to line him up and knock him down. There's only one man left. He can see the tip of his head. Rops has got multiple targets to deal with. Ooh. A great adjustment to catch Brolin. Just the tip of his head into the site. He's still alive. He's still kicking. Rops is going to deal with three targets in quick succession. It will not to be. And again, Fnatic pulling magic out of the hat with only sidearms. That was much needed there for Fnatic. You said the hat, I said the posterior. Yeah, fair. But they're able to get one, and I, I, that Crim's kill from the library position with the 5-7 was just like three bullets that he spammed away through the smoke and gets a headshot, and that's what actually forced them quicker onto the site there and giving Brolin an opportunity to capitalize. He did so well, and now Mousewatts bounce back with a force by their own, BMSM with the back 10 armor. Chris J has a little bit of utility here, some deagles as well. They didn't want to go fast. I thought we may have been seeing a pace change, potentially a quick B, but it looks like the troops have been commanded by Mr. Carrigan to take things a little bit slower in the early stages. Nades through, sitting all the way back, making sure that they're not there to catch any damage unnecessarily. Holden having a relatively slow first half here, but starting to come online here with some kills in the second. Here we go, over towards Banana, it's quick. Flusher was caught out to an extent, and if Golden Distinct. doesn't go... Oh, oh damn, oh. he doesn't go quietly! Golden! He is an absolute monster! Every time we watch Fnatic, the leader does something inexplainable. 
And with such low HP, let's watch that one again. Down to seven HP, Chad. And then Uno, DOS, Trace. Yes, Golden. You know. He's alive now. He was having a struggle some time over there in the first half, but that is a big round. There was pressure applied, and look, Mouse Watts have to take an eco. Fnatic have the opportunity now to slap nine on the board, use the confidence they're starting to build on their map choice, and take us to map number three. What a beast. Both in-game leaders have had their highlight moments. Golden here on map two. Carrigan with his clutches on map one. The Puppet Masters can fight back. I like what we're seeing from Carrigan on the pistol rounds as well, giving himself a P250, making himself more of a, a focal point of these rounds because we know how good he is. Okay, okay, that was okay, just a okay. grenade. That's not, not the spam, it seems a little bit cheeky. So they're gonna mop them up now. They're gonna mop them all up. How old do you reckon Carrigan is, you have to guess, Alex? I know his age. How old is he? Yep. Ah, oh, he must be get, getting on to, getting towards the business end of 20. He's the 3-0. He's the 3-0. He's the 3-0. Yeah. That's when the fun starts. Once the balloons get inflated, you're all ready to go. Yeah, I, we have a little fairy that is listening, apparently. When we can request things here, Alex, and then they just appear in your hotel room at the end of the day, so. <gasps> yeah. I'm... You want anything? <laughs> Chad, now, you're saying if I say anything, it appears in my Not hotel anything. room. anything. Okay. I don't know if it's worked. It worked for me yesterday. No, I was with my sob story. I didn't oh. get my 30 balloons for my 30th birthday a year ago, and I was being all emo. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, a year later, well, a year and a bit later, 30 inflatable balloons are, not 30 inflatable balloons, but the three balloons are in my room. Yeah, I'm going to bring them tomorrow for no reason, just for like a set. The numerical, the prop. numerical inflation. Yeah. They made me feel special. Yeah. And that's what's important. That's all you can do to people you care about. You just have to show them, treat them how you want to be treated. Goodness me, that's a lot of flame on the floor. There's only one incendiary left for the CT side in the 90-second mark of this round. And actually, pretty scare, scare situation for the Mouse Sports boys as well. This will not be uh, multiple double pumps and fakes and throwing their bodies around. This might just be an all-in maneuver. Ca contact on Carrigan. Flusher has a bit of a premonition. Uh, He's, they could walk through this. Get one here. Yes, and he's in trouble. Forced out. They're on their way in off the back of the flash. The rotate's coming in. If he gets one more, doesn't. Chris J putting bullets into his teammates. It's very sketchy stuff here. The spray's good too. Softens up another. Crim's caught. Oh my god. On a move. This is just chaos. A brawl about to occur here on BJW in the flames to suppress. Nades chipping away. Look They're at their all HP. so low. Look at this. My goodness, they've got nothing. Barely 50 between them. And into the site. Fnatic just come ripping them out of the site. Rob's with 6 HP, Bimus, or rather Bemus does well onto Brawl, and Grimslo 2 won't find it. <laughs> now finally, this round is over. <laughs> My goodness, it was just a barrage of bullets in every direction. From the contact on Flush on the B site, it didn't feel like there was a moment where someone wasn't holding down the trigger and spamming a corner, running around, pushing a Molotov, taking some damage. Oh my goodness, this is, that's a different uh, different taste for Counter-Strike, isn't it? Oh, 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 all right, well, Fnatic, they managed to level things up here. Now squats with the plant, an important plant, mind you. Needing to stimulate that economy, needing to make sure that they don't fall into a spot of bother. But the bother is here regardless, and the Deagles will be out. This is a chance for Fnatic to take the lead. Round number 21, an opportunity for them to post 11. And a very, very deep start to the round here from Mousesports, potentially expecting some aggression from the Fnatic players, wanting to get cheeky, wanting to get in their face, continuing this momentum that they're dealing with. Mousesports can take their foot off the gas and control this a little bit more. They can make it so Fnatic have to be milked on out a little bit more, so work for these kills. This smoke's fading. JW is very, very brave. He needs to get out of there. That's all he wanted, though. The one and done. Carrigan did get ahead of it, but he's been dealt with nicely. JW has handled this with ease. Rob's the only one to try and level the stead a little bit, and that was towards the apartments, but he's managed to squeeze away the weapon as well. He's got full armor. Like, there's a, there's a world in which fr Frozen, Rob's, and Chris J can rebuild the way back into this. They've got 60 seconds. Flush is solo on B, just jumping for the info. He'll be dropping his smoker on. Oh, wow. Oh, the timing from JW. Two quick kills. He's on for the ace. His timing has been impeccable. He deserves that one. The Wonder Child reminds us how he got that nickname, and we see a very quick one.
for Fnatic in their favor. It was Armored Deagles. Rop's the only one to provide any sort of hope. But quickly taken back away from them by JW. You talked about him. He was our Epic's GG player to watch. And uh, for good reason. He's an exciting little character, JW. And this is one of the things, you know, you think about him winning the first major back in 2013, the tail end at DreamHack Winter. We're now in 2020. Yeah. We are uh, quite a long way away from that. And the personalities, they still exist here. And the personalities are getting aggressive as Carrigan opens up with a double. That's a sight. Oh my God, they want to go fast and to stop that is Brawlin. Realizing they might try and accelerate. Chris J locked out by his team's Molotov. I suppose that's going to incite a little bit of a potential for an open B site. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no one knows where to go right now. It's rotating all over the shop. <laughs> Here we go B, are they A? Are they coming quick? Has it slowed down? Are the smokes? Oh, What's so, going on? So many unanswered questions for both sides. Brolin, poor soul, has got an entire site to solo. And he's in limbo. We'll start to fix that. Graveyard or pit is best bets. So using that smoke, he's bought himself a little bit of time here, and he's actually going walkabout on the site, taking a gander over towards Arch, making sure nobody's home. I think they're going to give up A. And Pima's finding that frag might accelerate them over towards that side of things. Unable to get the second, but the information's gets enough. Him. He even gets him. He did enough damage with the connections, with his adjustment, that not only does he kill Golden, he's forced the final player to rotate over to B. They can't believe their luck. Bemus, uh, definitely a nail I'm going to be wanting to say a whole lot more because he seems to be not only taking direction incredibly well, but executing it particularly well. Always good for one. And that's the same kind of thing I often found myself describing Golden's play as. Mm. You know, he's always good for two, is Golden. A multi-kill in an impact round. That was just the situation of have Bemis go out, see what he can find at yeah. B. If he, if he dies, they at least know that there's one player committed to a certain area of the map. They know how to play around in that scenario. The fact he gets both, draws the rotation, opens up a free site for the remainder of uh, his teammates, or nearly a Don teammate to Frozen, Christian and Rops. You gotta be happy with that from the youngster. And Carrigan kicking it off with a double as well. You thought the round was done right there. The fact that they get those two massive openings with one shot. Just accelerating straight up middle. Yeah. 11-11, make a wish. 10 grand for Golden and Co. Yeah, their money's sitting pretty right now. Fnatic don't have any issues going for the buy, but that was a change up and they were the ones who decided to take the fight. This is the opening. This is the double from Carrigan. Couldn't ask for anything Whoa. better. He even flashed them up there. So of his own design with that, was able to corral them into the line of sight. Double orbs from Fnatic on the CT side. JW with one, Flusher with the other. I wonder if JW's actually gonna have a fast look. He is considering it. Carrigan postured to deal with it. And he's having a second look down middle. Oh, Mike's scope's been heard. Frozen could have punished that. He heard it. Nice moves as well to evade any initial aggressions. They now know there's two orbs in the board. The shot towards B and the scope that they heard earlier over towards A, there wouldn't have been enough timing for JW to have rotated back over and used that. So with this information, Mouse Sports, they need to start deciding where they want to hit and how. Over towards A, they're obscuring the vision. Light mid control utility being used and... Well, they have banana control. One strategy that they could opt for with the utility they have remaining is just set up, go for a B hit, execute onto that AWP, take him out of the equation. It's certainly viable. I mean, these AWPs aren't going to be problematic if... A bomb goes down. Gosh, bit of a cluster of players in middle. They'll start to get everything a little smoothed out. And at the 45 second mark, this is where we're starting to work out where the commitment shall be. I am seeing bomb leaning B, Chad. You are bang on there, but lingering in the smoke for now. They want to try and catch those incurious uh, CTs looking for info as to whether there's anyone hanging out in brackets. Oh, again. He's doing it again. A little Terminator just going on to B on his own. They're ignoring him, though. They know. They learned their lesson the first time. He's not getting any more. There here comes the A hit. Roland flashed perfectly. Crimson's done well to find Chris J. Need more. And they've got more. JW arrives at the scene of the crime as well. Frozen, unable to contribute. It's all on to Carrigan and Bemis. He's done com completely enough to get the bomb down, but surely nothing else. They can just defuse. Bemis, can you get there in time? Brolin's on it as fast as he can run. Wants to call the block, wants to find him. Crimson to babysit perfectly. And it will be Fnatic continuing to run away with his CT side. They have picked themselves up a... What is that? Five now? Three? Six? Yeah, okay. 
Six rounds for the CT side. Good this stuff Crims. from Crims here. Just covering off. No panic necessary. The new BMS was a while away. Oh, bullets to the head. They take him out. That, ooh, okay. Well, the fun and games that was happening on the first half of our sports has quickly changed to the desk slams. But understandably so, that was a good chance for Mouse Sports to get themselves in the driver's seat in map number two. It's not the double orbs. I think we'll see Mouse Sports go back towards one of these B hits. Not sure if they want to try their luck over towards A in the same vein. Roland Crims is a very, very pro potent mix. Whereas Golden, he got lucky before when he was overrun. The Deagle shots, they were magnificent, but if you're expecting him to hit those every day of the week. Great timing on Flush's spray there. He's got some... Unconfirmed damage locked into the Mouse Sports roster. Fnatic can sense this. The boost coming on through, the early smoke coming out. The third man in tow. They feel ready for this. They have top mid control right now and they have even more information. JW is picking down mid. They know it's going to be B. Yeah, Golden's just trying to chip away at them before they even arrive. Now it's fragging time. Carrigan, Frozen, all just added to the chopping block. He leaps in. Assassin's Creed, eat your heart out. Another one for Crims, and it's going to be 13 for Fnatic. Mouseports have hit a brick wall here. The brick wall is spray painted orange. Nice work from Fnatic. I haven't bottomed out with their cash just yet, so Mouseports will have another crack. They will get another swing at this one. But they are being whittled away, and Fnatic are starting to read the play here. They haven't been faked out by that beam of cell. They didn't lose control of the map. They kept that mid presence. JW still aggressive. Gave them all the information they needed to be ready and hunker down for that B hit. The only round they lost was through the aggression of their own, and Carrigan, he's going forward into the smoke. Won't peer through on the other side. Thinks better of it, but now with the flash, we'll clear. Nobody's home. Bomb is down towards T stairs still. Somebody will need to pick that up. Two smokes and a Molotov, not a lot to work with. They need to find headshots. Okay. Headshots. They're not ready. Not prepared for this one. Flusher could have even caught with a nade in his hands here. Oh, rare to see him caught out, and there you have it. The B site open, you're bang on, Chad. That's a different look, but Mouseports have managed to make it work. This is going to be a disaster to retake. I don't even know if it's how much fun you're going to have trying to get back in. You have got Crims on the warpath. He's charged up, changing the scenery a little bit by calling construction clear. They don't have to be concerned about any pushed up tees in that respect, but planted for banana, two players postured there. There's util on these Fnatic players. Setting up some Molotovs now, or are they thinking better of it? Dropping the smoke, it it's looks so like safe. they want to get out. Thought they might try their luck, see if they were presented with any kills, but Fnatic are thinking better of this here, and that is literally leading by example. Carrigan setting the pace, understanding how much he can get away with, and that he could be traded on by his teammates, even if he was to go down. He just walked on in. He walked on into the site. That's all he did. As simple as that. Yeah. There's, no, there's no 4D chess here. This isn't, this isn't five head. This is simply just a man with an understanding for the game and exploiting a weakness within the defense. That's lovely. And when you think about it as well, him being the leader and doing so and going through with that entry, if you're Bemis, the young kid on the block who's been thrown on into this squad and gone, hey, we're going B, follow yeah, me. And follow Carrigan me. is lazy checking. And I mean that in the best way because a leader, you're allowed to have those intuitions. You get let off the hook. Yeah. You're allowed to make those calls. Nobody is going to be sitting there questioning you when you get away with a play like that. And that's what in-game leaders and their feel for the game and players like that can really bring. And well, maybe that's enough for Mouseports to get back into this one here as the guns are underway. Single op again. Four members of Fnatic over towards B here at the start of the round. That means that JW he has a lot to work with here if they just pounce on him like they did in oh, the previous. Gosh, yeah, imagine if Carrigan had a flashbang. He could have just flashed him up middle. They've got Amp's presence in by the boatload, and Bronze Nade could be a fantastic delivery. Smoke towards the apartments as well. The CTs have rotated back into a 3-2 split, so the lion's share of the defense of that aforementioned blue wall now lies at the right place. Chipping away it with some unconfirmed nade damage as well. They'll be going off the flash here. Water falling out of the apartments. Brolin and JW just pulls the trigger. Great flashbangs, but damage inflicted. And now more to be found. Brolin, he's a beast in this pit, but not if Frozen can shut him up and Carrigan shuts me up. That site should be theirs now. Crims, the only one to contest. You might want to wait for Flusher, but Contact's coming now. 
and he does take Crims, or rather Carrigan, out of the equation. Bomb's not down, still on the hay bales. Frozen's low as well, Flusher. He can lie in wait. Element of surprise here and planting safe. He thought the Nade. dunk as well. Robs is out of there. Bowled down and just 13 HP. It's an unlucky number for many. Poor old Frozen is certainly feeling a little unlucky. A little worse for wear. One bullet was all it takes to take him out and to put the 14th on the board. He can still win this. He could be anywhere right now. They don't know his position and he's lying in wait very carefully. The time ticking on down. They're going together. A multi-kill is possible here. Doesn't need that info. Doesn't need it. That's enough. Some info and just a little shoulder spotted. Quick flick of the mouse. Crims confirms it. 14 for Fnatic. You can see how time was on Frozen's side there, just trying his best to let the process of elimination just leave a little bit of a gap. But this is our first game of our fifth day. You've got Astralis NIP and FaZe Clan taking on Astralis later on today. So lots of fantastic games for you to look forward to. Even EG versus Cloud9, another mixed international roster. Yeah, a couple of South Africans. Exactly. A couple of North Americans. Coming together, playing some counter, having a good time. And right now we're having a good time because we're getting some very entertaining counter strikes and brawly stuff, some action packed. CS to kick off your day, your Saturday is uh, Emas getting a little bit hot there. and bothered. To be, to be fair, considering how much was thrown his way, to be sitting there with 95 HP is pretty damn good. KW is searching here, so if anybody was to jump up into boiler, he would have a frag, but nobody close at the moment. Mouse sports have slowed down this approach in alt middle. Banana seems to be, and they want to take that bomb at least at the start of the round, clearing on out towards the top. Molotov to push them back, and still the danger man. Fnatic are postured forward with a minute and 10 left on the clock. They need this information as they've lost the top of B, and he can strike at any point. So they're rotating a third man over towards the B side. It is the right call, and Brolin will be there in time. Wildly, and first blood drawn. Flusher smoked off by his own design. A flash above him for the push. And through the first, he will emerge. He's gonna get a double hit. Runs out of bullets. Enables Chris J to keep things competitive. The bomb is still not down. And there's so many CTs around. They might push through again off that flash. Yeah, to taking some space. JW's got a gap to work with. Numbers equalized by JW, but Colin close quarters, hunted out by the Dutchman. JW now. Once again, exploiting that gap, the shadow visible. He's playing a fantastic game as JW, his 21st frag added to the tally. And he's been such a nuisance. That bomb cannot be planted. Flusher made it so difficult to do so. Oh, oh Flash, JW doesn't care. And he's even spotted a glimpse of Chris J. Needs to find him, swinging him wide to expose his bottom. Crims did not punish immediately, but there's just no time. And that's the end of that. After time, he went down after time. He does go down after time. He will get nothing extra, down to 3.5. And Fnatic on match point, it was map point for this series, match point in the Inferno. So they're still able to buy, but this is fantastic from JW. Just playing around the side of the smoke here, the shadow kill I think is maybe a little bit more impressive than this flash frag. That's just timing and luck on his side right there, but he had to put his crosshair in the right place. And well, Crochet's not playing uh, Papers' as Rock with us anymore. Saw that. Oh, he's fast up middle. They're trying to really punish with these explosive moves, but the flashes are good from Fnatic as well, and JW won't convert this time round. Brolin with the quick trade, levels things up, 4v4. Oh, look how brawly this is. Everyone's hunting everyone, trying to catch that momentary lapse or reposition. This is a funny way to get what could be the last round of our second map started. Already seen some hunting all over the shop. I've just crushed the fan. Whoops. I was using it as a footrest, Chad. You shouldn't oh, do that. If you we want. use Lawrence chair. Yeah, that's a good idea. Look how aggressive they are still. Yes, yeah, see? Poor old Robs. Tagged up Bemis. Uh, Flush. He's got the bomb as well, Chad. He is open right now. He can get the plant down, and Robs is going to be lurking on through. The timing right now with the Brolin rotation could be everything. He's left library. Bemis isn't actually planning, so Robs has called this. There's a chance for him to rotate back into that A site. Oh. Robs has locked off the rotation. This is a great call from Robs. Emus has even picked up a smoke here. He could smoke in front of the site. That means they probably won't clear Robs' position. You're bang on, Chad. Looks like we might see another round of play here. Mouse Sports, they don't have the health to win this clutch, but they have got the position. Here's the smoke. Surely they don't check that corner with a smoke like that. Of course oh. they do with... Rollins in the server. 
upgrades himself to an AK, and poor Bmas, he's been a hero so far, but this seems like a rather large order. 170 health between the two of them, charging into just 30. Bemus one shot headshot. The way to dig himself out of this, it didn't work for Frozen. Did it work for Bemus. Time is on his side here. Only the kit on gold. If he can stop that, he does call the bluff. Now this is going to get awkward though. First and the second. Bemus is impressing all over Inferno. We play again. Fnatic will not take their map pick just yet. Really important that Bemis didn't go down to the bomb there as well because Manny on the mouse spot side is not great. The clutch is good. The clutch keeps them in it, and that's what they wanted to see. Maybe that's a bit of a resurgence right here as... Oh, just threading the needle was Rops. Even though he didn't get a kill, it was the information that he provided is what he gave Bemis to set up in that yeah. post-plant situation. And now Mouse Watts bouncing back in. Well, the money's not great on the Fnatic side, actually. It's Deagles and five sevens for them. Okay, looks like a full 15 rounds apiece. Could very well have OT written all over it. Regulation likely to be played unless Fnatic do what they typically do and hit ridiculous headshots. Hi, my name's Golden. Oh, I'm pretty consistent with this Desert Eagle and He's done it again. Takes down Bemis, the star of the previous round. The reason we're even into the 29th in the first place. Now eliminated, an unarmored Deagle is all Golden needs. And part of me just feels like he's gonna do it again. A warning shot, pushing T-Amps as well. So stacked in the right place, he's flashed. Good use of utility here, denying the potential, but they're going to push through it. They're doing good on the flashbangs, and there you go! Classic Fnatic!